since my true love Victoria has not made a return to YouTube in some months, and she blocked me after I DM'd her on Instagram. I have attempted to move on to bigger and better things. And the last time I made a video about one of my vegan girlfriends, she gained 100,000 subscribers in like two months and passed mine, which is kind of irritating. Like, can I get credit for anything? We know that's out of my control, so uh, let's see how my favorite girl stays nice and skeletal. It's like they get a script from their handlers on what music to use, what editing, make it artsy, the same foods to eat. It's never anything exciting. We have a video on why microwaves are dangerous. Not that the vegan brain can be damaged any further by any radiation. I'm trying to think if a vegan breakfast can get any worse than this and I guess dousing your stomach with half a gallon of pesticide laden green juice and then eating this is probably worse but from a nutrient perspective and agrochemical omega-6 omega fatty acid ratio it doesn't really get much worse you know she has the sunflower butter that dairy free yogurt both are incredibly high in omega-6 oxidized cause damage in the long term I mean you know, someone that's sensitive like myself, if I have even a tiny, tiny amount of these high linoleic acid foods, I get terrible acne the next day. You know, she doesn't say that it's organic. You know, there's definitely chemical additives and fillers and some of those things she had. Overall, at least it's a source of caloric energy. You know, it's not like these vegans trying to skimp by on eating nothing. You know, from the anti-nutrient perspective, it's, it's pretty horrendous. You know, the sunflower seeds and that sunflower butter are very high in anti-nutrients as they're a seed. Bananas are probably the most gut damaging fruit. You know, I even tried eating them myself recently. I just can't. Oats are not that great. At least they're kind of heavily processed, so that might reduce the anti-nutrient content to some degree. And these dairy-free yogurts, again, high omega-6, seed and chemical focused. Hey, at least she's eating it with a gold spoon. It is kind of ironic that she's eating slave food with a gold spoon. Like that's for caviar, not porridge slop gruel. I wish we knew the timing of this. You know, there's always those plant-based eaters like Abby Sharp who drink nine cups of coffee a day, have seven miscarriages, and have still convinced hundreds of thousands of people to listen to their health advice. Chompers, crunchy seaweed chips. Well, that is some pretty cute marketing. Ingredients, seaweed, glutinous rice flour, rice bran oil, tapioca starch, sea salt, and onion. Uh, so the primary concern here, as none of those ingredients are super inflammatory, is the pollutants, as none of the ingredients are organic. And the reason I really stop seaweed consumption and most seafood in general is because of those pollution concerns. If you haven't seen my video, I believe it's titled... Uh, let me actually check. Yeah, so about six months ago, I made a video titled, Is Fish Too Toxic to Eat? And the simple answer to that is basically yes, but that also applies to seaweed, anything coming from the ocean, really. Uh, maybe when Frankie Boy has uh, billions and billions of dollars, he can make his own little 
saltwater lake seafood farm. What workouts are your favorite? I don't know, I, I get sweaty and nervous when I watch girls do this, so does that count as a workout if my heart rate's up and I'm burning extra calories thinking about it? Classic mason jar. Give him a smiley face. Uh-oh, is this a sponsorship? It's gotta be. Was that a $40 salad? What do they charge you, $25 for like $5 worth of vegetables? I mean, this is super duper low calorie. Uh, that looks like some sauteed onions and mushrooms on the right. Uh, but this whole meal is basically sauteed caramelized vegetables. The nutrition content is insignificant. There might be some minerals that you might be digesting. Overall, incredibly low caloric load. And you know, you're paying a lot of money for those calories uh, to basically douse your stomach in agrochemicals, the pesticides, herbicides, the fungicides, insecticides. You know, our bodies are meant to handle, you know, the natural stressors in foods to some degree, but once you combine it with the modern and practical methods of growing them, we end up getting poisoned. And these meals are never organic because instead of paying $25, $30 for it, they'd have to charge you like 50. And uh, only the rats living in caves have that much money. Hey, look, if you add some steak to these meals, it's not that bad. A vegan diet with steak is usually healthier than how most people eat. So I just had a few of these lettuce wraps. I'll probably have a couple more in a little bit too. It actually comes with a lot, but I'm definitely gonna try and make these, like recreate these. That's why I kind of love sometimes trying out like post-mating food or delivering food or, you know, ordering it for takeout, whatever it is. Sometimes it just gives me some really good ideas and I kind of get out of my comfort zone instead of making the same bowl every single night or for lunch or for dinner that I always do. So it's does anyone else just love the ladies with hands so big that they look like they could just, you know, like beat you in a fight? It's nice to get some good ideas. I'm definitely going to saute some mushrooms. Like I'm going to buy mushrooms more so I can just saute them and make these little lettuce tacos. Um, Cause they're such a good idea. That was my lunch and I will, See you guys at snack or dinner. But you already had like four, four snacks today? Seriously. Four snacks, right? Potato chips aren't actually that horrible for you if they're organic. You know, even if they put seed oils in there, it's usually a pretty small amount. Again, definitely not something I would eat more than once or twice a week. You can make your own super healthy though like organic russet potatoes, some coconut oil, or animal fat like beef tallow. Uh, this has got to be sponsored. It's got to be sponsored by Goop Kitchen. <laughs> Hold on. Are they really called a Goop Kitchen? What a horrible marketing name. G Goop Kitchen. Yeah, that's got to be some like, like they, that has to be intentional. Like they're calling it Goop Kitchen, like some Soylent Green stuff. Like, yeah, we're feeding you slop and we're going to call the company Goop Kitchen because we're selling Goop. Hold on. <laughs> She's a... 
Did I miss something? No, it says vegan recipe and favorite snacks. A salmon ball with avocado, veggies, greens, and miso dressing. Don't you love it how vegans always eat like salmon bowls and milk, but it's not actually an animal food? You don't see me making avocado steaks on the grill. Hold on, is that salmon? Vegan recipes. All right, all right. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe that that was salmon, and she just titled the video "Vegan." Oh wait, so she's not vegan. I've been deceived in more than one way. That's why she still has decent skin and looks pretty. All right, so she's not sponsored by Goop Kitchen. Although, I'm surprised they have any business without sponsorships. So Goop Kitchen is a restaurant in LA and apparently it's not super duper expensive, but I guess she's not actually vegan. I don't know, I guess I guess we'll confirm at a later date, but eating some salmon at night is definitely not an adequate or optimal amount of protein for the day. Look, even if she eats a giant chunk of salmon every night, you can tell by her eating patterns that she's still craving something. And the average person needs to eat, you know, 50 to 55% of their calories from animal protein consistently. You know, there can be bouts where you would be like completely carnivore and then taper off for a bit and eat less meat. But the hunger patterns are very evident when people do not have enough animal-based nutrition in their diet. But you know, she's not buying any organic food. The protein intake is fairly low. It's very high in omega-6. Uh, I mean, just her having that salmon makes this, it, it's so crazy. You know, it, it makes you wonder why, you know, if vegans would just have some common sense and eat meat once a month, a couple times out of the year, they would be infinitely, infinitely, infinitely healthier and not harboring so many nutritional deficiencies. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. I guess uh, that kind of salmon curveball <laughs> kind of threw me for a loop, but still unfortunate that these uh, young women are influencing people to follow these diets that aren't actually healthy. And uh, they got a, a few secret things that they're eating and about their life that they're not revealing to these young ladies. And it's a little discouraging. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can check out frank-defano.com for all my businesses uh, to support everything I'm doing. So thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.